All right, all you drinkers across America, welcome out to another episode of Ron's Reviews with me, your host, Ron, Ratcatcher Antonori. And this week's review, I'm going to be bringing you Harpoon Brewing Company out of Boston, Massachusetts and Windsor, Vermont's Georgia Peach Hefweizen. And it's made with fresh peaches and it comes in at 4.8% ABV with a low 10 IBU. Now, Harpoon Brewing all started when three college buddies and their shared love of beer, Dan Canary, Rich Doyle, and George Leggetti. They traveled Europe after college, drinking many diverse, fresh, local beers while immersing themselves in the European beer culture, just like several brewery owners uh, that I have featured in the past reviews and will be featuring again in future reviews. It seems like everyone gets out of college, goes to Europe, starts drinking all those great European beers, mostly German and Bavarian craft beers, you know, and they become, they get a great love of beer. Um, I would personally love to go to Europe, go to Germany, go to Belgium and check out some of these old breweries and some of the old world style beers because I am a very big German beer lover and thus Hefeweizen which is a German style beer and this one here like I said is made with fresh peaches well after traveling college uh, you know fast forward to 1986 in Boston Massachusetts and Harpoon Brewery receives Boston permit number zero zero one that makes them the very first brewery ever in the commonwealth of massachusetts even beating out the boston beer company which is known for sam adams beer so everyone thinks of sam adams as being boston beer when really harpoon brewing was number one they were first to do it they were the very first beer well, the very first brewery permitted in the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. Soon thereafter, they had Russ Heisner joined up as the head brewer, and he started creating recipes for Harpoon Ale in the summer of 86. And finally, a year later, in June of 1987, the original Harpoon Ale was brewed and delivered to Seven Ales, Seven Ale House, Ale's House on Charles Street and Doyle's Cafe in Jamaica Plain, Boston. And the rest, as they say, is history. Well, this is, they say it's a very refreshing and flavorful with just the right amount of sweetness from the peaches. And it, as I stated, it was first brewed for their friends in the peach state of Georgia. Right here, man, in the in lovely Georgia, man. So where else would you want to introduce a peach beer than to the peach state? And another great thing about Harpoon Brewing is they are employee owned. So let's go ahead and enough of the small talk and let's get down to the business at hand. And the business at hand today happens to be the UFO, Georgia Peach Hefeweizen. <sighs> it's definitely not going to disappoint because it's got plenty of peach flavor. You smell that almost immediately. Go ahead and pour it out here. <sighs> That's a beautiful looking beer. That is lovely. And of course, which did you expect anything less from a professional bartender, but a perfect pour. Look at that beautiful head. Look at the peach. You can actually see, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but you can actually see the peach inside there, man. It's like, you know, it adds to the cloudiness of a Hefeweizen. But that's not the normal cloudiness. That is a little bit of the, you can see the peach uh, pulp, I guess you would say, in there. It is dissipating throughout the beer. 
Oh man, that even releases even more of that beautiful peach flavor. Well, I'm not going to keep talking about it. I'm going to start drinking it. So here we go. As they say, down the hatch. Mmm. Mmm. Mm-hmm. OMG. That is good. Oh man, that fresh peach flavor just hits you as soon as it hits your palate, man. That's all you taste. Very fruity, very refreshing. Uh, great beer for these summer days, man. I can see why they brewed it for us down here. <laughs> you know, it was for, first brewed for all of us down here in Georgia. I can see why now. Man, I just can't get over that peach scent. If you're a big peach lover, like I am, you're going to love this beer, man. It's the perfect blend, the wheat of the Hefeweizen, the fresh peaches. Oh, man, it's just fantastic. And for those of the, you that don't know, peach season is from June until about the end of August. So right now, being in the beginning of July, we are probably in the middle of peach season. So if you ever find your way down here to Georgia, perfect chance to pick up some fresh peaches, take back home with you. Uh, perfect blend of peach and beer. Oh, uh, yeah. I could definitely kill a six-pack of these myself, just laying out at the pool, cooking out, hanging out. You know, you're at your favorite bar, your favorite hangout, at the lake fishing, swimming, you know, just doing whatever, boating, hanging out with your friends and family. I got to recommend this, man. I'd give it, I'd give it two pints up. Definitely highly recommended. Very smooth, got that just amount of sweetness from the peaches, so it's not too sweet. You can still tell that it is a Hefweizen. You get that little bit of a wee flavor to it. So, as you can see, it does have a little peachy uh, look to it. I love it, man. I mean, it's got that... You see, it's a little bit, I don't know, let me hold it like this so you could actually see maybe. It's a little bit darker up here at the top um, and a little bit lighter down here at the bottom. Because for some reason, instead of the peach settling to the bottom, it seems to have risen up to the top. And that's actually an added bonus because it brings out that peach flavor for you. I could sit here and drink these all day long <laughs> and I think I'm going to go ahead and do that once I sign out from here so all you drinkers across America enjoying my reviews right here on drinking across America Ron's reviews stay safe but as always don't stay sober because I and you know stay safe but don't stay sober and by that I mean be responsible when you're drinking don't drink and drive I want you to arrive alive every day so that you can come back and join me as I give you my reviews of your favorite beers from your favorite breweries each and every episode. So call a friend, call a cab, call a ride share, Lyft or Uber. I personally, I prefer Lyft. And no, I am not being sponsored by Lyft. I do not receive any comp compensation from them. I just highly recommend them. Because Lyft partners with breweries throughout the country, offering both you and me as beer lovers discounts for using their service to either get to and from, or at least from, the brewery to back to your house. And you never have to worry about any of the breweries that they are partnered with towing your car or giving you a hard time about leaving your vehicle there overnight. No. These brewery owners would be glad that you decided to play it safe because they want you to come back and visit them just as much as I want you to come back and visit me. So until the next episode, stay thirsty, my friends, and don't stay sober. I'm going to go ahead and wind things out 
finish up my Georgia Peach Hefeweizen. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed bringing it to you. Oh yeah, real quick before I leave, <laughs> don't want to, don't want you to forget. I got the official Drinking Across America shirt on. There's a very few of these first edition shirts left. I've got a couple in this beige color, and I'm, I've got a couple in the maroon color, and a dark blue for male. I also have pink for females, and there's also a black one. So if you want to order them, feel free. So until next time, I'm going to sign out, but not for long. Drinking across America. Stay safe, guys. Mmm. Man. That peach scent and taste at the same time. It hits your nose and it hits your taste buds at the same time. Because everyone knows that we eat and drink just as much with our nose as we do our taste buds. So, enjoy. I know I'm going to. Finishing it out at Drinking Across America. That's peachy.